Tonight, there is still a lot of pain and a lot of questions surrounding the death of a basketball player. The teen went into cardiac arrest during a recent basketball tournament in Hampton. Tonight, we are hearing from the boy's father as well as a cardiologist. Megan Perrier has the story. David Regina, today I spoke with Hampton's father, who still has a lot of questions about what happened to his son. The last time Earl Hampton saw his son James, he was dropping him off at a bus stop. The 19-year-old was catching a bus to a basketball tournament. I wanted to the referee to uh, get his attention. His eyes, his eyes rolled back in his head and he fell backwards. A call from the tournament told Hampton his son was dead. They're saying his heart never came back beating and his pulse never came back beating. James had epilepsy. Hampton said his son also saw a heart specialist. We were actually never find out what was the cause of him falling out. He ran tests on him, stayed in the hospital over a week or so, and they ran all these EKGs, EVGs. Centera Interventional Cardiologist Novell Mystery performs EKGs. An electrical map of your heart that's made by placing several stickers or electrodes across the chest, and it gives us an idea of how one's electrical system is working. Although James had EKGs done, many student athletes don't. Most physicals don't require the test. President of Parent Heart Watch Martha Lopez Anderson wants to change that. We are here to educate um, others and empower others um, so that they, you know, hopefully don't have to suffer the loss of the child like uh, many of us have. Her son died while he was playing at the age of 10. I was completely blindsided by sudden cardiac arrest. You know, my son had had a well child checkup a month and a half before. Parent Heart Watch has locations in most states where you can get a free EKG. We can detect these conditions early. Um, they can be monitored. They can be treated. As for Hampton, he just wants to know what happened to James. I guess the man upstairs got other things planned for him. But while he was here, down here with us, he was a ask for a better son. James Hampton's funeral is Friday night in Washington, D.C. Live in the studio, Megan Perrier, 13 News Now.